Laravel's fluent string class. How do we get it? The of method from Laravel's global string facade. That will return an instance of stringable. Let's fluently interact with that string. Using the upper method, we can make the string uppercase. Fluently, we can call camel, going from upper to camel, and then go on and use lower, allowing us to fluently change the case of our string. Next, let's move on and use kiob to make a kiob case. And then we'll go from kiob to title, and then title back to lowercase. And then we'll add the snake method, but we'll remove everything in front of it, making the snake case. After snake, we'll go to snake to studly case, which is like class models. And then we can also go snake uppercase first, or even uppercase first and then plural. And then maybe we want to go back to singular and then back to title case. Next, we can use slug to make it sluggable or acceptable for the URL. Those are all of our formatters or casing methods. Next, let's move on to our true false methods. First, we have exactly. Is this exactly Hello Mars? True. If we remove an S, it's not exact. If we remove it all together, still not exact, doesn't work. Very similar to exactly, we have is. Is hello is false. Is hello Mars is true. And then the only difference is we can use this asterisk, which matches any pattern. So now we can do hello Mars, hello world, hello earth, etc., etc. Those are all true. But as soon as we change this, it is false. After is, we have our is not empty method. And of course, if it is empty, then is not empty is false. And then we have is empty. And when you empty out is empty, we'll get true. Next, we can go on and use when empty. When empty doesn't return a boolean, it's technically a function, and it only runs when the string is empty. So we can use stringable prepend hello append world. But because we're returning a stringable instance, we can continue to chain fluently. It starts with hello. Now starts with will test if the string starts with this. It can accept a single parameter or an array of elements. If we try to chain after starts with though, it's a boolean so it won't work. So we can also use ends with and just do that directly after. And if it ends with Mars, it's false. Now, of course, if we did hello Mars, we never actually prepend hello world because it's not empty. So we do ends with Mars, true, ends with world, false. After that, we have contains. Does the string contain this string or an array of strings? Does it contain any of these strings? And it does, it contains world. Whereas contains all says, does it contain every string in this element? And if we have hello world, it's true. As soon as we add anything that, like a hashtag, where it's not in our string, it's false, even though hello world are there. Whereas contains, even with the hashtag, it's true. But if it's just the hashtag, it's false. Those are our true false methods. Moving on to our substring methods. The first is going to actually be substring. Substring is a method that returns the portion of a string specified by the start or the start and length starts at that index and returns either till the end or till the sixth index. Next we have before. Get the string before the first instance of world. If you notice the space, we can use rtrim to remove it. The inverse of before is after, and the inverse of right trim is left trim. Next we have before last. So before gets the first instance, but what if we had like hello world, hello Mars, hello Earth? Well, this will get before last. More than that, instead of doing right trim, left trim, we can also do trim. And the trim, they actually accept a parameter themselves. So by default, they'll try to trim spaces. But you can specify the element you want to trim on trim, left trim, or on right trim. So if we want to do like right trim earth hashtag, then we can do that. After that, we have before last, and that gets the last instance but we also have after last. And so after the last instance of hello, we get earth and then we can trim it again. I think that you could also do like after first, it won't work because after and before just the plain vanilla after and before, they automatically look for the first instance. So moving on, we're going to use this global Laravel app path helper to get a path to our app folder. And the last two are dir name to get the directory name, removing the last one 
and then base name to get the last element or directory in the path. Next, we have our replacement methods. So imagine while writing an email, dear Molly, we can actually replace Molly with Tommy. So we can just replace a string with a string. We can also do replace array. So imagine this email was like, dear name, how was your day? Wish you the best, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So what we can do is we can say, okay, we want to replace curly name and we want to replace the first instance of curly name with Tommy. And then have you talked to the second instance of name recently? And so, dear Tommy, how was your day? Have you talked to Molly recently? And we can continue down that path. And so the first element in our replace array will replace the first parameter or the curly name. The second and third will just replace that variable in a given order. Next, we have replace last. So replace last name with name or with John. And then we have replace first. And so that will only replace the first and last instances. Then we have replace matches. So imagine that we have a phone number. And this phone number has some zeros in it. So we can write a regular expression pattern. And let's just say we want to get all of the zeros. And so what we can do is we can say, hey, we want to replace everything that's not a zero with an empty string. And so we replaced everything that matched that pattern. Moving on, our string augmenters to add on to a string or prepend a string. So the first is going to be this finish method. So let's imagine we have a, a slug, slash tinker slash. And we can say finish with slash. So if we don't have a slash, it would automatically add the slash at the end. And if we have multiple slashes, it will bring it back down to a single slash. So whether we don't have a slash, we do have a slash, or we have multiple slashes, we will always end with a single slash. The inverse of finish is start. So whether we have a single slash, no slash, or multiple slashes, we will always finish, or sorry, start the string with a single slash. After start and finish, we have a pen, which is just a pinned onto the string. And then we have prepend, which is prepend to the string. And we could even do like prepend example and then start slash to see it all put together. I'm going to close out with a few miscellaneous methods that we have not covered yet. Is ASCII. Is this an ASCII encoded character? And if we do it with that weird looking U, it's going to be false. More than that, we can use ASCII to actually transform that weird looking U to a character encoded. If we use a normal U, it's already ASCII. So is ASCII is true. And if we encode it, we'll just return itself. After that, we can do like hello world of Laravel stringable. We can explode based on a space. And then we can actually limit the number of items in our exploded uh, string. Next, we can get the string length. And then we can actually limit the string length. And it will actually add that dot, dot, dot after 24 characters. And then we can even go on and replace that dot, dot, dot with our custom looking dot, dot, dot. If you want to do it by words instead of character length, you can do words. You can say after two words, we want to add that dot, dot, dot. And again, you can replace dot, dot, dot with your own ending. Just like that. All right. So next we have this one, two, three string, and we're going to say split it. And split is going to use a regular expression pattern. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say after a comma space, we want to basically explode it, but it's going to return a collection instead of an array. And so those were all collection methods you just saw. Next, we can use match. And we're going to replace this one, two, three with foobar. We're just going to say match foo and match bar. Again, it's just a regular expression pattern. If there is no match, it will be empty. And if we want to do match all, it will return all of the strings that match that regular expression pattern. And match all returns a collection as well. And that was it, guys. Every fluent string method in under 10 minutes.